Hey viewers, how's everyone doing? I'm too young again, baby. This is the fourth episode of the evolution of Rambo. Today, we'll be looking at the fourth installment of the Rambo saga, simply titled Rambo. Action superstar Sylvester Stallone reprises his iconic role as John Rambo. Not only he stars in this movie and co-wrote the script, he also directs it. It's the first time since 2006 Rocky Balboa that he directs a movie. Richard Crenell, who plays um, Colonel Sam Trotman in the three in the last three Rambo movies, did not return to this um, fourth installment because sadly, he passed away with a heart failure in 2003. The movie is set 20 years after the events in Afghanistan. We see John Rambo living in Thailand, working as a snake catcher and a boatman. He's mourning the loss of his friend, Colonel Sam Trotman, and he's trying to forget his days as a soldier in the Vietnam War. Although Rambo is seemingly living peacefully in Thailand, he is still suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and he's trying so hard to forget his days as a soldier in, in Vietnam and also what's happened to him in the last three previous Rambo movies. He's approached by missionary doctors led by Michael Burnett, played by Paul Shorzy, who is uh, known for his recurring role in the hit TV show 24. <laughs> Burnett is looking for a boatman to take him and his missionary friends up to the Sanguin River into Warthog, Burma on a humanitarian mission to provide medical supplies for the village people who are victims of the Burmanese soldiers known as SPDC, which stands for the State Peace Development Council. <laughs> Bernard hires Rambo for the job, but that's the last thing Rambo wants to do. He doesn't want to take civilians with no uh, weapon training whatsoever up to a war-torn country where there's zero chance for them to survive. But Bernard's um, girlfriend, Sarah Miller, played wonderfully by Julie Benz, talks um, to Rambo and gives him the reason why they should go up to Burma to help the sick and the wounded. Rambo um, is touched on by her words and um, accepts um, the job. During the trip to Bowman, they are stopped by pirates and they are held at gunpoint. The leader of the pirates demand um, Rambo to give them Sarah Miller so that they can use her as a sex or plaything. Rambo um, becomes enraged and, he's, and he has no choice but to kill the entire pirates. Despite uh, saving the life of Sarah and the missionaries, Burnett um, is disgusted um, with, um, with Rambo's um, actions and um, chastise him for taking um, the lives of those pirates. Rambo takes it as an insult and almost turns the boat around back to Thailand, but Sarah persuades him to keep going to Burma. After Rambo drops them off and he, and he leaves um, for Thailand, the missionaries and the villagers are attacked by the SPDC soldiers. 
almost the entire villagers are killed and the survivors including Burnett and Sarah are kidnapped by the SPDC soldiers. kidnapped uh, missionaries and the villagers reaches to Thailand, Rambo once again picks up his trademark weapons and goes on a rescue mission to rescue the hostages. Now when this movie was released on January 25th, 2008, it received mixed reception from critics. They praised um, Sylvester Stallone's uh, performance as Rambo and the action sequences but they heavily criticized the violence in it. Yeah, there was a amount of um, blood and guts um, in, in that movie. Over 236 characters were killed. That's uh, the highest um, body count. And it, it outranks uh, Rambo 3, which was, uh, which was the previous Rambo movie that had the, the highest um, body count. <laughs> movie back in 2008 I had mixed feelings about it I didn't um, really like uh, the storyline that much about missionaries being um, kidnapped by Bumani's um, soldiers and Rambo um, ha um, has to um, go to their to go to a rescue mission but um, I enjoyed um, the action sequences and I loved um, Sylvester Stallone's um, performance I thought it was his um, best um, performance since um, Rocky Balboa, the sixth installment of the Rocky um, saga. And um, and as for the um, violence in it, well, I didn't. Uh, the truth is, I didn't really enjoy. I didn't enjoy watching um, those um, scenes, but I thought that it was the most um, realistic um, on-screen violence in the Rambo movies since uh, First Blood. It wasn't, um, it was not um, too cartoonish and it wasn't um, too um, Hollywood um, style um, um, violence um, scenes. So it's, um, it was realistic and um, it actually does make a lot of sense because uh, what was um, happening in, um, in Burma in the movie really happened, um, really did um, happen. So yeah. Boma really did have the um, conflicts and there was um and there was lots of um of um people being victims by the uh, Bumanese um, soldiers. So so yeah, I think uh, what um, Stallone um, did um, was um he was um, being um, truthful of how um of how everything was um, in Boma. So if you viewers have not um, seen um, Rambo 4, please um, check it out and um, and you're all entitled for your opinion. You might um, love it, you might hate it. That's all I have for this episode. On the fifth and final episode of the Evolution of Rambo, we're talking about um, the fifth and final Rambo movie titled Rambo Last Blood, which is currently playing in the theater. So I'm Tuyo Bay, and I'll see you next time.